What up, what up? Wimbush here. And today I'm excited to show you guys another demo tutorial. This time I'm going to show you how to make a custom route going from one location to the other. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. So I'm starting off with Cinema 4D. I'm still using version R21 for this and I'm using the latest version of Dim Earth. And if you want another demo tutorial that I just recently did on how to make really large maps, make sure you go to my channel and look for that link. That was a pretty cool tutorial that I did there. But for this one, we're going to be building out routes. So to start off, I'm going to go to Dim Earth, come down to object here. And I believe this starts me off in where I was just recently at. But just in case, because I was just working on this tutorial, just make sure I got everything down packed. But let me make sure that it's going to put us in the correct region. So I'm going to come down to Dim Earth, come down to Geocoder tool. And then I believe the region I was working with was Norwood Park West. Click enter. Okay, yeah, so that was the region I'm going to be in. And so I want to click make a pin because I want to make sure that it gives me a locator marker there. So this is the address that we're going to be starting with. And then I want to make this go to, where was it? Westville, Indiana. And now I have a marker for both of these locations. So I can exit this out. And if I pull back, I see I have locations for both of these here. So I'm going to make my map just large enough to cover these two regions. So I'm going to come over to object here and then let me pull this out a little bit right here under this object tag. I'm going to just make it 50,000 by 50,000. So that's the largest that we could go. But I just want to make sure that we're going to cover enough region here to make sure that we could get both of these areas. And then I'm going to zoom it out. No, no, six seems to be okay. But let me put a map on here just so I could kind of give a reference of where we're at. So I'm going to come down here, maybe make this level 11, nothing too crazy. Then I'm going to come down to, let's do world imagery. Click download texture. And this is just going to give us a texture here to give us good reference of what we're working with. So we can see here on the map, we have the region in Illinois here and Westfield, Indiana. So we want to make this make a route go from these two regions, which is really easy now with this version of Dim Earth. So to get started making a route, we want to come over to Dim Earth, click on where we go to. It was route, Dim Earth route. And now that we have this selected, we want to drag these two pins here that we made earlier. We want to drag that into the objects panel here. So now you see we have a nice arch going across the two. And that's because we have to finish making out our route because we have to come over here to our routing options and tell it what type of route and what we want to avoid. So under type, we have the options of doing the driving route, a bicycle route or a walking route. And then we have two options here for well, three because we can avoid nothing or we can avoid better ways or ferries. So I'm just going to click nothing because this worked earlier. But if there was a ferry that went from here across the pond here over to here, then it would have gave us a route doing that. But let's click generate a poly route. And then let's move in a little bit more because it kind of snapped it to these routes here, which we'll have to expand on that back a little bit. But now you can see we have a spline here that's going along the roads here that's giving us a pretty good route. And so we still have an arch there just because we have to click off the route here, but it's still going to leave our spline here. And if we look over in our objects hierarchy window over here, you can see that it made this route panel right here. And so if we wanted to, we could actually change the color of our spline here by just clicking on color here. Maybe let's make it red. And now if I zoom in closer, well, you can't really see it. Let me, um, oh, that's because it didn't go red. There we go. So now we have a red spline. And we want to we want to add some more map around this area. We don't want it to be so smushed in here. So let's go back to Dim Earth, come over to Object, and you can see whenever we made our route, it kind of condensed it into this area. So we could go back and make this fifty thousand by fifty thousand, something like that. So now, you know, I'm working on a show right now with a lot of maps. They usually like to start high and push in close, so we could have the area up here. We can start in a good section of Illinois, push down to the region here, and then start drawing our route. So we can actually start drawing our route out here with the sweet nerves 
but with this map it might be a little bit hard to see so let me make this into maybe a bing map so let me come down let's do bing map and let's click um we could do 10 we don't need that much detail for a bing map so let's click download texture layer we click yes give us a little bit to download here now we have our bing map downloaded and i have to give a disclaimer he even says it right here please respect the copyright if you were to use this for a broadcast you would get in trouble if you didn't get any type of licensing agreement from microsoft or if you use the google maps or anything in here so whatever option you picked from here I just have to reiterate, please make sure that you're using everything within the rights of the imagery there or else you could get the network that you're working for in trouble or the client. So yeah, just please be respectful of that. But moving on, we want to make this into like a sweep nerve so maybe that we can grow it along our trail here. So if I come up here to where we have our pen tool, let's just click on circle and we're just going to make a circle. I'm just going to leave it in the center there. Then I'm going to click right here and make a sweep nerve. And then I'm gonna grab my circle, bring it underneath here, and then drag this under dim earth. And then this route key right here, I'm gonna drag this underneath my sweep here. And now you can see we have a sweep, but it's actually being textured by our map, which we can fix in a minute. But first, let's make our radius of our circle a little bit smaller. Let's say maybe 10. And it's something like that, maybe 15. We'll get a better idea once we put a texture on here. So let's do that now. So down here on my texture panel, I'm gonna double click, make a material. And then I'm gonna just turn off reflectance. And then again, I'll just make this red. It's easy to see. Then I'm gonna put this on my sweep nerves over here. So now you can see we have a red sweep going across our map that if I click on my sweep here, I can have it actually animate on. So if we want to have a route animate on, we can actually keyframe that here. So let me click on zero, make a keyframe, come all the way to the end, make it 100, make another keyframe. So now you can see we have our route growing all the way to the beginning and the end. And if I don't want to see these arch, I mean, it's just a spline. It wouldn't render, but you can always shut that off. Now we don't really need it. But now you can see we have a spline coming from our tag all the way down to here. Now, one thing I do have to say, the tags don't render. So if I click on render here on the map, it's not gonna render our location. So you'd have to put your own location indicators in there if you want it. But this will give you a good starting place on making animated route maps, which could come really in handy, especially if you do a lot of like reality TV work like I do. So hopefully this helped you guys out. If you guys are digging these demo tutorials, please let me know in the comment below. If you guys like these, I'll continue to make more. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already. Give me a big thumbs up if you can. And as always, stay fresh, keep creating, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.